Michael Jackson's family will have front row seats as the singer's doctor goes on trial in Los Angeles today. He's charged with causing the pop star's death. But the defense is expected to point the finger at Jackson himself. ABC's Diane Alviar has the latest from L.A. Good morning, Diane. Rob and Tanya, this is it, the trial that millions of Michael Jackson's fans have been waiting for. Today, prosecutors will explain what they believe really led to the death of the King of Pop. Was Michael Jackson's death the fault of his personal physician, Dr. Conrad Murray? Or was the King of Pop addicted to dangerous painkillers and his death a tragic accident? That's the question facing 12 jurors in Murray's involuntary manslaughter trial. The jury is made up of seven men and five women. One is a mailman, another an unemployed accountant. There's even a television director within the group. One factor that could affect the outcome of this trial, half say they are Michael Jackson fans. If the defense in this case is that he was trying to wean Michael Jackson off of these uh, drugs. I mean, if that's where the road they're going down, then they may want Michael Jackson fans. Murray's defense is expected to say the doctor was trying to control Jackson's use of the powerful anesthetic propofol, the sedative that killed him. They will also claim Murray fully cooperated with police. Prosecutors will argue Murray cared more about keeping his lucrative high-paying position than making sure Jackson received proper medical treatment. The trial will almost certainly feature devastating testimony about Jackson's personal life, something his brother Jermaine is countering through tweets to his millions of fans. One reads, Let us remember that we, family and fans, are one, united for Michael. We'll carry your love, support, and fight with us every day. Monday, the judge ruled the jury will not get to see Michael Jackson's last news conference, nor will they hear from prosecutors about police trying to re-interview Dr. Murray four separate times. Rob, Tanya. You know, what's interesting is that Joe mm. Jackson's attorney believes there should be other people on trial as well as Conrad Murray. In addition to the mm -hmm. doctor here, and again, like here in that piece, we're going to get more information about his personal life, and we all know past legal troubles, and then apparently a thing no one really argues, he did have a serious drug addiction right. problem, probably get into a lot of his lifestyle issues, that kind of thing. It's, not, it's going to be a pretty sad yeah, portrait, Yeah, it I won't think. be pretty. It no. won't be pretty. Mm -mm.